Hey guys, so we are in day four. Um, so, welcome to Coffee Cozy Up. It's been a very active weekend. I am literally outside sweating because I just put the gazebo up with my parents and put some mulch down. Attempted to do some planting, but I am tired. Um, I was so grateful because my friend um, came this morning after he worked and helped me put the gazebo up because it's just it's a hard gazebo to put up. I don't know why I bought this one last year. It's beautiful. It really withholds wind and it's very stable, but it's just so hard to put up. But it's up, and I'm glad my mom has somewhere she can come outside and hang out and uh, relax. So. Let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday was amazing. Um, sis, uh, I can't even talk guys, it's so tired of you. And I'm trying to do this so fast because there's so many people playing music because the weather is nice and a lot of people do the yard work. So if you hear banging and all of that, that's what that is. So let me start off by saying yesterday was amazing. Um, um, the book plus the group read, Pleasant View. So Celeste Muhammad was there. The conversation was so engaging, so good. She really touched on so many reasons why this was um, stories, um, novel told in stories, and uh, the importance of why she kept the the, ling the the lingo, the Trinidadian slang, all that, kept it in the story and how important it is. And I think that's a really important thing for Caribbean books because oftentimes, um, if they're published outside of their own culture, they expect it to tone down the language um, to make it where it doesn't feel authentic if you're reading it and you're from that culture. And in this, she was able to maintain that and, and keep it and people are able to enjoy it and understand it even though, you know, she got some twang, some Trinidadian twang. Do you call it patwa to ensure that? I don't know. You know, I'm Jamaican, so always this broken English we call it patwa. I'm not sure what you guys call it in Trinidad. Let me know. So anyway, that's what I have. Now, I ended the night, had a great time with my friend. Um, you know, I don't get to see her that often, so it was such a pleasure. We went out to eat afterwards and just chit chat and catch up on lost time because you know the pandemic you don't get to see your friends and especially your bookish friends because a lot of time we often meet at book events and since a lot of that wasn't going on it was hard to really do that so that was amazing and then of course i got up this morning and started doing some work in my parents backyard but anyway we're going to do this now the book that i did finish yesterday but i didn't want to talk about it yet because i felt like i wanted to sit down and give you my real take on it and that is lucy by jamaica Kincaid, let me tell you, every so often, well not often actually, very few in between, there's a book that I connect with in a way that I felt like the author took my personality, took certain character trait I have and put it in a storyline and as you turn the page, you feel very uncomfortable you feel very strange, you feel very open, and it, it affects you in a way that often you struggle to read because of you see yourself. And this is a character that is a, a young woman. She at the time was leave her um, beloved island to go to a foreign country in as well a lot of immigrants do a better life better opportunity and immediately you realize how much of the things that you disliked about your culture is the thing that you miss the thing that um, drives you to, to move forward and do things the thing that make you want to explore things because of the comparison the things that you you look at from that situation and in this you get that you also get how you struggle to connect because of past experiences in struggling to forgive. Forgiveness is such a hard thing and I, I relate to that so much. Um, she struggled also in how to, to love, not just herself, but to be able to love someone else. Um, sorry about that. So, and as I'm reading this, it's, it's that identity that when you know your flaws, when you can 
have that honest moment with yourself and identify those flaws you see this in his character and towards the end the very last um, page had me holding back tears because I understood the character I understood her so well that I was just like wow wow it's just amazing to see this on in a book to see this see pieces of me in a story that I understood I, I understood so well and I will treasure this book I would absolutely treasure this book and this is one of those books that I think is a personal take and there's always that one book that you will have a personal connection with that not everybody gonna might not understand or have that same experience and you're okay with it because this book gave you what you wanted what you didn't know you needed that's how I felt about this book absolutely love it no if and but a favorite for me this year um Ofak, how was this uh, Kwame dolls and this is about a, a man whose father passed away and there's this mystery about was he um was his death natural cause or something else involved and um you learn about him and there's bits of back and of notes and it said unpublished notes from a character that is in between the chapters um but you can tell the man is very um he's going through it he's not stable mentally stable um very conflicted in, in his, even even his ability to think that perhaps what people his family is saying is um is the fact there's a bit of a mystery in it because there's a bit of connection with the names in this that makes the book wonder if um something happened that should have happened that kind of deal but i'm not far enough in it to really analyze that yet but this will be also what i will be attempting to finish tomorrow definitely not today tomorrow um so that's what i have so far so i'm going to continue wiping down putting stuff up this is going to be a two weekend deal because i'm going to try and finish the rest of it next weekend because there's so many flowers and plants that i didn't get to pick up i didn't have the time that i am going to do um this week and being able to do some more but it's we're going to focus more on flowers because my mom i don't think she has the time to really take care of vegetable so i know that's not going to be a thing for me to do for her i would love to get, start up some vegetable back here but i just know she's not going to be able to, to maintain it so i'm going to focus more on flowers because you know it's, she don't have to do much <laughs> and just let it grow and that is the goal and i will be doing hopefully taking my brother dinner tonight his birthday was last weekend i didn't get to do anything with him so i'm gonna bond with him today uh, maybe I get some footage of him in the video because you guys haven't seen my brother in a while. He looks a little different. You know, he's slimmed down. He's in a gym. He's he, he newly single, so maybe that's why he's working it out. <laughs> so I don't know, but I might get the footage of him in this video. So yeah, guys, that's the update right now. And I'm in such a good mood because I'm with my family and I miss them so much. It's been a month since I've seen them. Yeah, I think it's been a month. Mother's Day weekend. So it's been a month. So, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Yeah.
Hey guys, so we are day five. Yeah, day five. It's, these days are coming. It's coming. So let me give you a little recap of yesterday, the end of uh, the evening. Um, I did tell you I was going to go to um, take my brother out for um, his birthday dinner, which is his birthday was a week ago. But of course, I wasn't um, there to celebrate with him because of my ankle. So he picked a vegan restaurant. I've never been to a vegan restaurant. It's called Ross. And I'll just give you a little clip of it. And I was um, excited because I do eat vegetarian food, but I am not a vegan. Um, I do find vegan food interesting. I've had vegan food before, but I've never actually went to a restaurant where the entire um, menu is vegan food. So that was uh, an interesting experience. Um, of course, I couldn't really drink anything because, you know, I can't. Because, <laughs> you know, my, my whole diet and health eating, getting healthy and stuff like that so he had some interesting looking drink that looked good but I, I couldn't tell if it was good or not but it looked good and he enjoyed it the appetizer was nice it looked like a egg roll but it was one had some form of linton but it was spicy it was so good oh my god it's so good and the other one had some kind of curry um, I think it was peas but it was curried and oh, oh, it was so good. I was like, I can eat this. I can eat this, but of course, I think it's fattening because I'm looking at the, the, the actual outer and definitely not something you can eat on a regular, but it was so good. I kind of understand how vegans, I see fat vegans and I'm like, in my mind, I'm thinking vegan, you are healthier in terms of, but no, it's a lot of carbs that vegans eat. Because everything that I had on my plate had some form of carb in there. And even when you think of peas, if you eat a lot of, um, sorry, a lot of peas, um, it's carb. So I had that and then there was a menu that she recommended the waitress. And it had like a sampler of like four different things. And this is probably the first time I've had collard green at any restaurant and enjoy because I am not a fan of collard greens like that. But this was really good. And then I also trust it because I knew they didn't put any pork in there because a lot of times you eat collard greens at other places. They got pork in there and I don't eat pork. I don't eat red meat and I don't eat pork. The only meat I eat is chicken or turkey. So I had a collard green and they had like a cabbage mixed with something. Some kind of peas again. But it was spicy. It was so good. Um, I did have their rice. But the rice was brown rice. It's, it's their form of jollof rice. But it was made from brown rice. So I was like okay. I know I can have brown rice. So I did try that. Um, but the portion was so nice that I was good. I was able to eat everything off the plate. I didn't feel stuffed. And I like that um, setup for me right now. Because I need to be in control. And um the dessert, I didn't really get to really enjoy that, except for the, the strawberries on top. Uh, but mostly for my brother, you know, they came out with a little candle and, you know, he made a wish. And um, it was just a bonding time because I don't get to see my brother that often. Um, and now, you know, we're trying to once in a while do stuff with, um, with you know, with each other and enjoy our time together. Because, you know, it's been a rough day, rough year for my family. So this was fun. So, and then I came back home and started reading some more before I went to bed. And I did finish this. <sighs> Let's see. Bivorak. Um, I had to look, I had to really look up the proper pronunciation of this because I'm not used to using this, seeing this word or using this word. And how it, um, Kwame Dawes, he is actually a poet. He is a Jamaican poet. He's mainly known for his poetry. Um, and this book was one of those books that I thought was um, interesting how he talks about mourning, about um, how you know, a character's going through mourning of the death of his father. He's also going through um, the struggle of that his fiance was raped and how he's having to deal with that and struggling with that and putting her feelings but also his feelings how to 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 get through all of this um then he's also having to deal with family who are often 
you know, have, they're very opinionated about things and uh, constantly throwing things at him. And he's, you know, he's just going through it. He's going through a lot of emotional stuff. And throughout the book, there are excerpts from the uh, character with a similar name of, um, and their storyline. Um, and it gives a little bit of history of his, 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 his heritage as far as his family. Um, but it, it had so much elements of it that I find interesting and I was all for it. But then there's like that moment too where I felt like it's an incomplete book to me. Like I don't feel like it, it gave a twist towards the end that was, um, it's supposed to be like a revelation of, of how you, how he's dealing with everything but it was just it was the weird that I had to literally reread um like the, the the last three chapters when I was done because I was I was a little bit confused on what was really happening at that point like and because it's just it 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 went in a route of talking about death in a way that it felt unresolved of how the book was t the direction the book was taking you how it was making you feel like was this person was his his father died from medical um negligent or was it some kind of political reason um it, it, it that part of the story to me i feel like still was a puzzle for me for the most part so i struggle with that and i think this is this is one of those that maybe 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 I might have to like just I, and I don't know anybody who's read this and I'm I feel like I might have to dig to see because I need to, I need to I feel like I'm missing something towards the end that I, it just didn't connect for me and I, I don't know <laughs> that's the best way I can put this book and I hate when book do that to me because then I'm like I get obsessed with it because I'm like the hell I need I I need to understand why this was the direction it went. Then there was moments of him with women, the, the, the three different women, and then you, you you know there's like different characters that are in in the whole idea of grief and when you're dealing with grief that sex becomes um, an, an escape, but how it's done in this is kind of like there's that obsession and that control how it was using this story that I'm not sure I like. <laughs> it just talks of that I'm not sure I like in this story. So that was a bit of a what the hell moment for me. <laughs> but overall, I, I wasn't wowed. I wasn't wowed, but I do think this is a discussion book. I do think it, it has so much going on in it and so many ways that maybe it can be analyzed that I think this will be a good um, discussion book in a certain kind of group um, because of because of how complicated and twisted and and, and that the, the author did and, and and again he's a poet and oftentimes when you think of poet I love poetry I love poets who are writers because of how they will tell the story and oftentimes the interpretation can be um, a bit hidden and also can be self, you know, how um, different um, readers might interpret it totally different, um, that kind of deal and poets like that. So that might be his like take on this, but I'm curious, I'm really curious of um, his inspiration for this and um, you know, exactly where he was trying to take. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I got another book down and I am, I feel like I need some romance. I mean, I am going to still go through uh, Pleasant View because you know I'm slow reading that and I'm almost like halfway point. Um, but I want to get into a romance and I think I'm going to do one of the romance I picked up. If, if I feel like it's too slow, I might have to just pause it because we, we still got six more days and... I want to get as much books as possible um, that I want to read. So that's where I'm at. But I'm going to end day five for this vlog. And 
chill for the rest of the day and um, pick up something else and read and relax because I am back home. I got home real early because, you know, Puerto Rican Day Parade was today. So for those of you guys that went to it, I hope you had a good time. But I was not about that traffic. <laughs> so I had to get out of town. So I'm home. I'm relaxed. And let me know what you guys read for the weekend. Or what books have you finished so far. You know. Let's talk about it. Alright guys. See you guys in the next one. Bye.